Hey there, what is going on guys? General Gorilla here, and I am back, and I am here with a computer video actually, oh my god, I just, oh man, I'm taking pictures and I'm covering the camera, here we go. So, this is actually my computer right here, as you're seeing right here. Um, I'm trying, this is my first like computer video, so this might be a little bit rough, but this is it, um, here's the back, I'm using the Phantom like. 410k so you can see in there and what we're going to be doing with it today here let me try to get a front shot of it okay that's the best i can do but what we're going to be trying to do today i just covered the camera again is we're going to be trying to get it clean so we need to start by taking some thumb screws off we're going to go ahead and take off this front panel here ah yeah here we go and as you can see it is very dirty i'm a little bit shaky right now but here we are. It's very dirty. You can see that right there. And it has atrocious cable management, and I want to try to finish that today. Or finish that, fix it. I want to try to fix that today. So, like, you can see all the dust here. So, I can quickly run through the specs of it here. We have two hard drives. One is a 500 gigabyte, and one is a terabyte. Um, we have a DVD drive up there. We have a custom 280 rad. It's not supposed to fit in this case. Um, and it's cooling a AMD FX 9590 under there. We have 8 gigabytes of RAM right there. We have a G4 uh, EV, EVGA GTX 960 for the win edition, actually. And uh, yeah, we have a 750 watt G2 Supernova by EVGA uh, modular power supply actually and uh yeah that's basically it for the most part and uh i will cut back with what we're gonna do first so i'll see you guys in just a second alrighty guys so i am back and i have taken the top off the front off right here and i've also taken the back off right there as you can see so you can probably already tell that the cable management is absolutely awful like i mean i have cables that are just barely on there you probably your focus for me there we go you can just barely see that there and uh yeah so you can really take an effect of like how dirty this this is like look at that that's in my radiator right there we have some serious dust issues that's for sure so we are going to try and fix that today by doing that and we're gonna do stuff anyway so for our screws here, so like for our power supply screws, we're going to be using these styrofoam cups and we're going to label them with Sharpie. May not be the uh, the best option, but that's definitely what we can do. So we're going to be labeling them and then that's what we're going to be using as like our screw holders and stuff like that. And yeah, so first things first, I think I'm going to go ahead and take out the power supply. So I'm going to do that off camera and then probably come back and then from there. Probably a graphics card or something like that. I don't know. Maybe just take out these cables. And yeah. So as you can see, you can see my cable management is not that great. I did my best, but it's still not that great, and I'm not very proud of it. So we're gonna try and uh, make that a little bit better. We're gonna fix these garments. You can see those. Um, this one up here doesn't even have one anymore. It's gone. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try to fix that. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a little bit after I take the power supply out, and I'll check up with you All guys. right, hey, you guys, we are back, and, um, so, since the last time, I took off my screws here so I can move the power supply around, and, uh, I also took out my adapter just because we don't need it, and I don't really want to forget to take it off. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to start working on trying to get these cables out of here. Um, maybe I should have done that beforehand. <laughs> maybe I should have... Like, left it screwed in. Uh, are these cables going to be a bitch to get out here? I'm thinking they are. So, I'm going to come back when I have these cables out. Hold on, guys. Alright, guys. So, I'm back. And I finally got those cables out of there. I don't know. It's not very bright right there. But, anyways, I finally got all these cables detached. And then I have my screws in here. Don't mind my uh, crappy handwriting. But, uh, yeah. Oh, my dogs are barking. Hold so, on, guys. So, I'm back. And I can take my power supply out now, if I'm very careful. I might actually have to take this fan out first, but no, I won't. I can take it out. Hold on. There it is. 
So, it's extremely dusty, but here it is. It's all the connections and everything like that. This is a pretty good uh, power supply, if you ask me. It's pretty good. I have the uh, fan set down there, so, yeah, it's pretty dirty on that side, too. So, it's already kind of weird without the power supply. And I'll set the power supply elsewhere, and, uh, yeah, we can go on to moving on to the next thing, which probably will be taking out the graphics card. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright guys, so, I just filmed a me taking out the power supply, and I since have put my computer on its side, so we can work with it a little bit easier. I'm going to stand up here for a second from my chair, and we need to, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a little clip down there that we need to undo to get this giant graphics card out, but first, I'm going to undo these little thumb screws here. This is like... I don't know, I don't see a lot of cases that have thumb screws screwing in the GPU, so it's kind of neat. I don't know, I've never had something like that. So we can set aside those. I don't think it really matters, I could use those as the uh, side panel screws, I think. Sorry if you guys can't hear me, because I'm kind of new to using a phone as, like, recording. Uh, so, down here, I'm going to try to get a good shot of it. Mm, might have to use my thumb. There we go. I just pushed it back, so now my GPU is free. It's free to go. Let's see if I can film this without screwing up here. So, here we go. There we go. So, there's the GPU itself. Those are the ACX 2.0 cooler right here. And it also features a backplate, which is kind of neat because considering um, some GPUs don't, I don't think the 1070 does, the 1080 might. So, uh, yeah, I haven't even taken the uh, SLI thing off. I probably won't either, just because I won't. <laughs> and just so you guys know, it has a, an 8-pin connector right there. Focus, there you go. Sorry about the shakiness, by the way. So, yeah, there's my GPU. It's very dirty. The camera doesn't really do it justice, but there's quite a bit of dust on it. So, here's what my computer looks like currently in its current state. Um, my next mission probably will be taking off these top fans, so that means I'm going to have to set it back up on its side or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys, so as you can see, I have these fans off the top, which is kind of crazy. Look how dusty this is. This is crazy. I have never taken these fans off since, like, I put the radiator on. That's kind of crazy. So, I just wanted to show you something. So, this computer does, or this computer case does not support a 280 millimeter rad which is exactly what that is so I kinda didn't want to ship it back so I had to do some modifications to it so that means I had to drill my holes for the, the stuff so I drilled that hole right there can't really see it I'm to focus there. there we go I drilled that hole I drilled I didn't drill that one I don't think uh, which other one did I drill I guess I only drilled those two, so I drilled that one too, and yes, that is paint removed, <laughs> that's okay, because it's just always covered up anyways, so, there's that, um, and then those are the fans, I will detach those here in just a moment, um, alright, let's go ahead and take these fans and set them up here, and, so we can detach that, detach that, and then take my fans, and take them elsewhere, so there we go. And then we'll put the screws in a styrofoam bowl, and uh, yeah, then we can take this radiator out because it's like, it's just kind of free falling right now. It's being held up by the tubes right there, kind of being rusted there. And uh, yeah, so hold on, let me put these over here. Alright, I just kind of set them behind me. And uh, yeah, hold on, let me scoot my chair in. We can take this off, maybe. Oh, no, I can't. Alright. So I'm going to have to loosen them with a screwdriver first, and then take them off. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I am back, and I have taken the screws off the water block there. As you can see, they're right there. And um, so, that means I can pull this up off of the CPU socket. There we go. Let me take the... Try to take this around here. There's the thermal paste. This stayed pretty nice. It didn't take too much off or nothing. So we're going to try to just kind of set that down for a second because we still need to unplug all the wires that are like connected to it, to the block. And uh, yeah, then we can take the radiator out. I actually might be able to take it out right now. Yeah, hold on. 
Oops, sorry guys, I'm not very good at recording. <laughs> Alright, I just disconnected something. Alright, it's okay. Sorry, I'm not really recording very well. I'm really sorry. And, um, hmm. Alright, I'm going to have to do that off camera, I think. Unless I... Alright, so we can take that off, which is fine. Alright, I'm going to do this off camera, so, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Alright, guys, so after a little bit of finagling with my radiators here, I, uh, finally managed to get it out. I just kind of have it hanging out over here. As you can see, it's really dusty on that side, and it's, like, not dusty at all on the other side. Yeah, so that's that, and it was kind of squeezed in there, so, because it's not meant to be in here anyways, and it's kind of fat, so, uh, yeah. So, I guess we can go, oh, sorry, guys, I just bumped you. I just bumped you. Sorry. So, we can go ahead and take out my RAM here. Focus, camera, stop it. All right, there we go. And one more. All right, perfect. Take out one. Take out two. We got two RAMs. Set them off to the side. And, uh, yeah. So, next order of business. I have no clue what I'm going to do with my CPU when I take it out, so I might try to figure that out. Um, I say we start unplugging stuff from the board, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Maybe. Eh. So, this one is HD audio. Man, my, fo my camera is not focusing very well. This one, I have no idea what this one is. Oh, I think it's USB 3. And this is a just big jumble of mess, isn't it? Alright, so we can take that out, take that out, take this one out, maybe. Alright, so SATA cable, not very easy to take off. Uh, I might leave the speaker on there just because. Take out my front panel connectors, even though those are going to suck. And yeah, so basically we can almost start just taking off my motherboard. I actually might do that next. After we take off this 24 pin, which is going to be a pain in the butt. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys after I take my motherboard out. And then we'll be able to start taking cables out and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so I'm back. And I actually have my motherboard out, as you can see right here. And uh, so I had a little bit of a hiccup here. So as you can see, this is a standoff. And you know, let me try to focus on it. There we go. So... Somewhere on there, you can probably see like marks right there. There's like a little mark. Yeah, right there. So, what happened was, in this top left corner up here, that screw hole, well, the standoff was already coming out, and it was right there. So, therefore, I couldn't screw it out. So, basically, what I had to do was, oh, hold on. I had to take these little thingies right here, and basically hold it as I unscrewed it. So that was kind of my solution to that and so that's basically what happened. Nothing too major but uh, we got it off and that's all that matters really. And yeah so that's the update for now. The next order of business is probably going to try to get this out so that way it's not just hanging there. So that means I need to like find out where all these wires are and uh, yeah pull them through, take the radiator out and uh, yeah that's that. So I'll be back in just Alrighty, a moment. Guys. So, since last time, there's been a pretty big change, and obviously you can see that this is a whole lot different than what it used to be. So, we took out everything, basically. So, I mean, these are all the front panel connectors, which is crazy. That's a crazy amount of front panel connectors. And then we have a few more fans that we need to detach over here. And then it's pretty much ready to be cleaned, almost. So, just take out the fans and we'll be good to go. So, first things first, we have the radiator. We finally got it out. And then... We have all of our power supply cables, we have all our SATA ca cables, we have a couple garments, we have our DVD drive, we have both of our hard drives, kind of buried right there. And then this is kind of what it looks like right now. And uh, so we're going to take out the fans, there's one up here, right there. And then, I mean, it's pretty well ready to be cleaned. We just got to find a place for everything, and then we can put her back together and start with the cable management, and uh, yeah. So, I will be back once we take these fans out, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Alright guys, second. so, I am back, and it's weird to see my PC like this, like there's no fans, there's nothing in it, and it's really, really dirty. I mean, 
That's where that one fan was. That's where the PSU was. You can clearly see a little ring right there. You got all these. Extremely dirty. All this. This is the first time I've cleaned anything in this case. I haven't cleaned it. And then, or we're going to keep the IO shield on. Just for now. I debated on taking these off just so I wouldn't have any cables when I'm cleaning, but I'm going to keep them anyways. So, yeah. And then we have all this over here. It's extremely light now. It's nowhere near as heavy. All these little... Oh my gosh, I keep ripping. And you can hear my chair. I'm really sorry. Wait, is it going to do it again? Of course, when I want it to, it's not going to do it. So, yeah. And we have our two garments here. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, honestly. I don't really know. But I think it would look nice if I had them there. So we're going to do our best to uh, work with those. Because the garments actually go here and here. And actually, there's one that goes here, but I don't have it with me. Forgot to grab it from where I have it at. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, the next order of business right before I clean this, because I'm going to do one more thing before I clean this, and that is get the uh, thermal paste off my CPU and my water block. So, I'll do that, and I'm going to show you guys the final results, and I will right, be back. guys, so I'm back, and we have the thermal paste cleared off of here. Hold on, I'm going to try to focus on it. And there you go, no thermal paste, no thermal paste. It's cleaned off and good to go. So, time to start cleaning, boys. I'll be back after I clean all my parts. I can start okay, there, guys. Case. I'm back. And, um, yeah. We have the case clean, as you can see. It's looking very good, very good. Um, there's still a little bit of dust in spots, so you can see, like, down there. And somewhere up here, there's a little bit. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty much done. I mean, like I said, there's a little bit of dust up here. So, like, right there. Probably some a little bit not a whole lot but um yeah so i mean it's a lot cleaner than what it used to be so now we need to start cable management but first let me show you this this is all just the case connectors for stuff that's a lot of cables so what i think i'm going to try to do is uh cable manage these a little bit first and uh yeah then we're going to work on the power supply which everything will come through right there and um, yeah, and then we can start routing stuff, and then maybe we can go ahead and put in the motherboard. And hopefully we can get a better looking case than what we had previously. And then we'll have everything cleaned up, and then we can put the fans in and make it look nice. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on cable managing all of this with zip ties. And uh, yeah, we're going to start planning out where everything's going to go, so on and so forth. And yeah, I'll uh, check, back, check back with you guys in just a little bit. What's up guys, I am back, and um, I'm pointing it at my table right now just because I didn't just do planning, let's just say that. <laughs> I know I said I was just going to plan with like where everything was going to go, but I basically put it all back together, just to say the least, and um, I'm going to start with the back and then work my way to the front, um, just so you don't have high expectations for the front or nothing, but uh, here's the back. It's not that beautiful, but my main goal was to get this part cleared so you wouldn't be able to see it, if you know what I mean. Like, um, through my window, you wouldn't be able to, like, see this right here, you know. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's not super beautiful, but, I mean, it's better than I had it before, I would like to say. And, um, so here's all that. It's pretty messy down here, because I didn't really know what to do down here. And it's pretty tight, so I'm not really sure. It's the best I can do, really, um, with what I have. So, uh, yeah, I have everything in these garments, which is pretty surprising because these garments are a pain in the butt. They like to come out a lot, so um, that's, a, that's a good thing. And, uh, yeah, so this is the back. Let me go ahead and turn it around. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm sure it's probably pretty loud. Hold on, I even put my tools on the floor. That was kind of loud. Sorry. I mean, I'm not kidding my wall. Alright, so, right here, what has changed? Well, from last time, I uh, added a little zip tie right in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a zip tie there now. Um, hopefully you can hear me. So, yeah, so right now, and then I try to keep this as like tight as possible, because I didn't really want it to look bad. But, uh, yeah, so... All this is the same except for there's no like CPU cable going right here. Does that make sense? Hold on, I got a burp. 
Excuse me, I'm really sorry about that. But, um, yeah, my camera's not focusing. But, oh, God, there's not enough light. Ugh, camera focus. So up in there in that corner where my CPU uh, header is, it's actually an 8-pin, and I have it routed, like, back in there. Like, back behind it. And I didn't do that before. I don't know why I didn't. But, um, the radiator is, like, pushing on it, like, hard core. And somehow it managed to stay in place. So hopefully it turns on and doesn't, like, cut the power or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, that's how everything is. And, uh, you can't really see it. But, uh, that's all my front panel connectors and whatnot. Like I said, you can't really see it. It's kind of hard to see. I have all my SATA cables right there. Hold on. Can I turn on, like, my flash? I can't really. Um. Hold on. I can try this. Hold on. Alright, that's a little bit better. So now you can see down there. I uh, brought my light over closer to me. My hot-ass light. Right there. Here you can see all this a little bit better. I took the block things and ran them like under my dim slots right here. They're still not very good. I might have to zip tie these or something like that. It's hard to like cable manage those just because they're really annoying. So those go back into there. And uh, yeah, my DVD drives being kind of casually hid by uh, the tubing here. And uh, yeah, so everything's clean. Everything's put back together. And uh, this one, I know you're probably thinking that it's just going to suck in like like uh, carpet and whatnot. But my computer actually is like lifted up off the ground a little bit so it keeps it from doing that. And it's kind of pointless, but it helps a little bit. So we can go to the top now. Here's what it looks like all cleaned and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you what it looks like with everything put on, like the panels, the top and the front and the back panel and everything like that, and um, yeah, we can see what it looks like, and yeah, I'll be back in just a moment, guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are with the finished product. You can see me hiding behind my phone. Move over so you guys can't look at me. And uh, so, here it is. We can actually look inside. You can't really see much because of the reflection, but it looks pretty decent. I might actually do a shot with it on because we're going to have an outlet like right there, and uh, yeah. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it looks the same as it did before, but I look, or I feel better knowing that the cable management is fixed and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can do more computer videos in the future for you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Anyways, do more com uh, uh, computer videos in the future for you. Um, sorry about the whole, uh, not being very upbeat. I'm trying my best. I really am. This is kind of new to me, recording my phone and stuff like that, so I'm doing my best, trying not to be shaky and all that. But, uh, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna turn this dang light off right here. This light right here will be the death of me. It is so hot. Puts off so much heat. Cannot wait to turn it off. But, anyways, this is what it looks like, guys. Basically the same as it did before, but it's clean now. Hopefully better airflow and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. Time to overclock it because I was doing that last night and then we got a huge storm. And uh, yeah, so I think that's everything. I think that's everything I need to tell you guys. But just know that this won't be the last computer video that I do. It won't be this computer in particular, but it won't be the last computer video that I do. So yeah, with that being said, I think that is everything. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below, down there. And, um, if you would like to tell me, like, any suggestions of what I should do with my computer or anything like that, um, or just tips on better filming or whatever, let me know down here as well, down in the comments. And, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.